Welcome. This is video number 364 and uh, in this video I am going to explain the idea of economic growth and uh, sustainable development. Uh, let me start with the uh, presentation scheme. I will discuss what is the meaning and importance of economic growth, then the meaning and importance of economic development and then I will discuss the role of sustainable development in developing countries and so on. Uh, economic growth may be thought of as an uh, in increase uh, in the real per capita GDP of uh, an economy over a long period of time. There are two relevant concepts. One is GDP and that is the total output for final use produced by residents and non-residents of a country and uh, then we have uh, GDP and GDP does not include deductions for depreciation of physical capital or uh, depletion. Uh, degrading of uh, natural resources. So, this one is GNP that is the total market value of all final goods and uh, services produced by residents and non-residents of a country whereas GDP is equal to GNP minus net income from abroad. So, GNP is equal to GDP plus net income from abroad and that is the income which the residents of uh, a particular country receive from abroad for factor services less payments to the non-residents who contribute to the domestic economy. Uh, hence, we can think of positive rates of economic growth if GDP has increased from one period to another and uh, there will be a negative rates of economic growth if GDP has decreased from one period to another. It will be a constant rate of economic growth if GDP remains the same from one to another. Uh, economic development can be thought of as uh, the beginning where economic growth ends. That is at the heart of economic development is the notion of human well-being. So, uh, it means how do we use economic performance measured by economic growth to enhance people's standard of living or to improve their uh, well-being or uh, standard of living. So, development means basically creating conditions for his realization of uh, human personality and it can be based on three criteria that is what happens to uh, uh, poverty that is whether there has been a reduction in poverty, unemployment and uh, inequality. If due to economic growth there has been a decrease in poverty, unemployment and inequality then we can say uh, that uh, there is development. So, there are some indicators of development and uh, those uh, include adequate level of education, freedom of speech, citizenship of a country that is truly independent both economically and politically and there are some other conditions that is sense of security, freedom of worship etc. The process of economic development has to be concerned with what people can and cannot do for example, whether they can live long, escape avoidable morbidity, be well nourished, be able to read and write and communicate, take part in uh, literary and uh, scientific pursuits and so on. Uh, some other indicators of development includes reduction in poverty. How do we measure if someone is poor? One is a head to count ratio. Uh, proportion of population which is below the poverty line and then there is income gap ratio which measures the depth of poverty by the extent of the gap between the poverty line and the average income of the poor as a proportion of the poverty line. A poverty line means the percentage of the population living below the specified poverty line. For example, uh, a dollar one a day uh, per person of a family of three. In 1994, international prices adjusted for purchasing power parity. This is the definition of a poverty line. And uh, we have some other concepts that is human development index, gender development index, gender empowerment index and uh, human poverty index. Uh, human development index measures average achievement of a country in basic human capabilities, health, income distribution and uh, education. Whereas, uh, uh, gender uh, development indicator means achievements in same capabilities as HDI but takes into account of uh, inequalities between women and men and GDI uh, can be thought of as discounted 
HDI. Then we have gender empowerment measure and it examines whether women and men are able to actively participate uh, in economic and uh, political life and take part in decision making or not. And then we have some other development index and that is human poverty index which focuses on the way the poor and deprived fare in each community and uses the same indicators as HDI but combines elements of deprivation to provide an aggregate judgment on the extent of poverty. Uh, HPI um, takes into account longevity that is it uses the percentage of people expected to die before the age of 40 knowledge. So, HPI uses the rate of literacy, lack of decent standard of living that is a composite index which includes percent of people with access to health services, safe drinking water and percent of malnourished children uh, below the um, 5 years of age. What do we mean by sustainable development? Based on Sears definition of development that is to be concerned with creating conditions for the realization of human personality. So, sustainability is a characteristic of a process or a state that can be maintained indefinitely. Therefore, sustainable development refers to a process or a state that is not constrained by time or space. Why we be concerned with the sustainable economic development? It is the development which meets the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs. So, sustainable development is not a fixed state of harmony, but rather a process of change in which the exploitation of resources, the direction of investments are made consistent with future as well as the present needs. And it is concerned with exploration, exploitation of resources that can either be responsible or irresponsible. So, in another way, development which compromises future development possibilities either via excessive resource depletion and waste generation or imposing too heavy a burden of environmental degradation or cleanup, not ensuring that the rents that accrue from current exploitation are invested so that future generations can share. So, uh, the idea is that uh, first there is economic growth that is increase in uh, material output, more output and then we have development which has a greater emphasis on social objectives like poverty, education and health and uh, sustainable economic development uh, basically recognizes the need for environmental protection inter and intragenerational equity and uh, sustainable development aids to our understanding of economic development by providing an explicit recognition that development and uh, the environment are not mutually exclusive, integrating environmental concerns into traditional development economics, incorporating social and environmental concerns into economic decision making and it seeks to ensure the economically efficient management of natural resources. So, uh, sustainable development has three prong definition. There must be economic efficiency and uh, it must ensure social equity and uh, it must also be concerned with preservation of the environment. Whereas, the traditional uh, growth uh, does not uh, take into account all these uh, three uh, aspects or pillars of the sustainable development. The economic goal is to maximize the net welfare of economic activities while maintaining or increasing the stock of economic, ecological and socio-cultural assets over time and providing a safety net to meet the basic needs and protect the poor. This definition was uh, given by uh, Mohan Manusinga. This is the interface between the economy and uh, the environment. So, the source of function of the environment that is minerals, soils and biodiversity that goes into the economy and uh, the economy, the environment also functions as the sink. Environment from waste, 
farm production and consumption and there are some natural events and so on.